Every Pony, and welcome to the 24th episode of Pagey Time, the series where you pick the topics and I talk about them. In the last episode, I gave you all my tips for organizing your My Little Pony and Lil's Pet Shop toys, and here are a few of the featured comments. In two weeks, I will be doing an episode about ways to stay busy during the summer. So if you have any tips, then be sure to comment them down below for a chance to be featured. Anyways, in this episode, we will be talking about making custom ponies. So without further ado, let us get on with that. A custom pony is a My Little Pony toy that has been painted on or altered in a way to make it more unique. Obviously, my Paige Turner original character is a custom pony, and I commissioned her from Griffin Bloodheart on DeviantArt for about $30 and it was totally worth it. She makes amazing customs. But obviously, custom ponies can be expensive, so if you do not have the money, you will have to make your own custom design. So in this video, I will be showing you my tips for how to make your custom ponies as good and as professional looking as possible. So this here is the first custom pony that I ever made, probably about three years ago. Her name is Chicken Scratch, and she was my little sister's OC or original character. Now when you look at Chicken Scratch you're going to notice that the paint job is not very smooth and there are cracks in her paint as well as on the eyes. So now let's take a look at one of my more recent customs. This is Firecracker Blue and she is my mom's OC and I made this character for her for her birthday and you can tell that the paint job is a lot better. Obviously her eyes are not that perfect. So obviously Firecracker is not as great as his patron or custom, but it's still a pretty good start. So if you would like to see the process I used to make her, be sure to check out the link in the description below. But let's finally start off with the tips. The most difficult part of creating a custom pony is creating the hair. Because most of the time when you buy a base pony for a custom, the hair is not going to be exactly the same as your original character. And if it is, then maybe your original character isn't as unique as you think. There are three general ways to put original hair on ponies. The first way is the most professional and ends up with the most results, but it's also the most difficult and costly. To reroute a pony, you take out all their hair that the pony originally has and insert new hair, usually doll hair or from wigs, into the plugs on the pony's head and into the tail. I have never used this method before, but I can tell you that it's really difficult and if you aren't already good at it, it's probably not a good idea to start now. The second method is to sculpt hair onto the pony using a type of clay. Now, this is my old custom of the Pony Flash Sentry. It was originally a Fluttershy, as you can tell by the bad paint job, and I molded on hair, but I used pretty bad clay. It was just random air dry clay from Michaels and it was it's not great. You should use something that is more moldable and easier to paint because I didn't even get to paint the hair. But the third method, which I think is the easiest, is the one that I prefer to use and the one that I will be talking about the most. By using fabric dye, you can dye the pony's hair to the colors that you want. The dye that I have used for all of my custom ponies has always been Rit fabric dye, which can be purchased at Michael's craft stores, but there is one problem with using dye. You are truly a really old fan if you remember this page turner. She was made for me by Pony Toys probably two or three years ago, and Obviously, you can tell the big difference between, but I mean, she was great, and I still love this pony to this day, but she dyed the hair of a Twilight Sparkle and tried to dye it blue, and because of the purple in the hair, it turned out to be like a dark purple. When you choose a base pony to make into a custom and you're dyeing the mane, it's more important to choose a pony that has a more compatible mane color than a skin color. This was my second custom, I believe it was of a Rose Luck. And I used Pinkie Pie, you can tell because the paint is chipping slightly, but I dyed about half of the hair a little bit darker pink using some fabric dye, and she turned out pretty well, even though I had to paint on several layers of paint because the body was pink. About two years ago, when I was finally deciding that I wanted to make a more accurate page in custom, for a while I kind of wanted to make one by myself to save money. If I were rerouting a pony, I would have obviously used a rarity, because rarity is white and so is patroner, so I wouldn't need to paint on the body. 
But you can't dye purple hair light blue and yellow. So instead, I bought a Lyra off Amazon because her hair is mint green and white. Then I was able to dye the mint parts blue and the white parts yellow. Sadly, because I wanted to use gloss paint, the paint was so watery that it would take so long just to add a few layers of paint. And this is why when you're painting the pony, you should always use regular acrylic paint and paint in small, watered down layers so that it's smooth and glossy. So now that we know some of the basic tips, we're going to act out like we're making a custom out of a very old pony from Pagey Time. This is Angel Equality. She is the pony that I designed for the episode of Pagey Time about designing your own OC. So this is very old, and we're going to pretend like we're making a custom of her. So if I were to dye a pony's mane to look like Angel's hair, which is pink with splotches of blue, then I would need to find a pony with either light pink hair or a color that works well with light pink. So even though Daisy Dreams would be a lot easier to paint because her body is already purple, the hair would not work. So I would use a Nurse Red Heart toy because she is quite easily accessible now that she's being sold at CVS. And all I'd have to do is dye parts of her mane blue, which would turn out more purple, but I mean it's better than nothing. And that's how you pick a base for a custom. And let this LPS dog be a lesson to you to never use nail polish or sharpies on your customs because this is quite scary. But what's almost worse is using paint to color the pony's mane. That will just stiffen up the hair and it turns out really bad in the long run. So just use dye. But in case I miss anything in this episode, since it was pretty chaotic with all the customs, here are a few comments from the last episode. Making customs can be a ton of fun, especially when they turn out good. So it's important to choose the right base characters, as well as the right materials and paint. And remember, when making customs, you are going to need to make a lot of compromises. So the finished product might not be what you originally planned. Oh yeah. And don't forget to seal in the paint by using some sort of a spray so that your design will last for quite a long time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pagey Time and don't forget to comment down more tips for customizing for a chance to be featured in the next episode.